So take the front elevation here, the south elevation of the building. If I go up to the top of the screen now under File, Export, 2D Graphic, I've got a whole bunch of options down at the bottom for exporting this as an AutoCAD, DWG, or DXF file. And you can see that SketchUp supports CAD file formats going all the way back to R12. Um, in this case, since we're working with AutoCAD 2006, I can export as a 2004 DWG file. And then under Options is where you'll find all the options for exporting your CAD drawings to scale. Now, for most of us working in programs like AutoCAD, um, you're already working at a one-to-one -one scale in CAD the same way that you are in SketchUp. So for the most part, you just want to export your drawing at full scale, one-to-one. -one. Um, that means that if you have a three-foot door modeled in your SketchUp drawing, that you'll end up having a same three-foot door in CAD after you've exported the file. If you're working in a CAD program like uh, Vectorworks or some other app where you're drawing in your CAD application um, at a particular scale, maybe you're drawing at quarter-inch scale or half-inch scale, then you have the option to uncheck the full-scale checkbox and instead tell SketchUp what scale you want to export the drawing at. So in this case, say you wanted to export the drawing at quarter-inch scale. You would type in that 0.25 inches in the drawing equals one foot in the model. The SketchUp model is always going to be at one-to-one -one scale, so you can kind of work backwards from there. Um, quarter inch equals a foot. Scale means that a quarter inch in your drawing equals a foot in the model. Um, from there, you've also got some options for uh, specifying things like profile lines and section lines. Since this is just an elevation drawing, I'm not really doing much with the section lines. And I'm not really a huge fan, um, personally, of working with profile lines when I've got them exported from SketchUp. But you can kind of play around with that as an option um, and see. Uh, typically what it'll do is the profile lines are the bolder edges that you see in your SketchUp model. And it'll export those on a separate layer so that you'll have two layers. You'll have one layer with your profile lines in CAD, and you'll have another layer with all the other lines. Um, typically I just export it all out from SketchUp on the same layer, and then work on assigning those layers once I'm in CAD. So. That works as an option. Um, and then I hardly ever use the edge extensions exporting from SketchUp to CAD. But again, you can play around with that option and see if it works for you. From here, before I click on the option for OK, I do want to go back and check the box for full scale, one to one ratio. Um, again, since I'm working usually with SketchUp and AutoCAD, um, I want to get my models out of SketchUp at one to one scale. And then click OK. And then I can give the file a name. I could call it. Uh, uh, SketchUp model south elevation and export that to the desktop. Once SketchUp is done exporting the model, it'll give you a little report, let you know that everything worked out okay. And from there you can go and you could export any number of other elevation drawings. We could export an elevation of the east um, side of the building. One thing about this particular file, um, which we put in here on purpose, is this little funny room that's kind of out at a weird angle. Um, typically, when you're working in SketchUp, you have the option to easily cycle through some of the default elevation uh, preset buttons. But when it comes to getting the elevation of walls that are at an angle relative to the axes, um, one of the things that you have an option to do is go into that particular object, in this case, You'll notice that if you click around in the model, uh, different objects in this file are grouped and made into separate components, including the walls. Um, so in this case, if you right click on the walls group, you'll see the option there for edit group. And once you're inside of that walls group, you can click on the end surface of that wall, right click and select the option there for align view. And now you've got a perfect two dimensional orthographic projection of that wall surface, even though it's not aligned to any of the axes. From here, you can right click off in white space and select the option for close group, and then use the pan tool to just pan side to side until you've got the whole model in view. If you need to, you can click on the zoom extents button, and that'll just bring the whole file to where it fits within the screen view. If you just want to zoom in on a particular spot, I'd recommend using the zoom tool. Anything that you do here where you accidentally press down on the center wheel to go into the orbit mode is going to take you out from being aligned perfectly to that elevation. 
So from here, once I've got this view set up, again, I can go up to File, Export, 2D Graphic, and I can export this as a CAD file as well. And again, I'm gonna export this at one-to-one -one scale, and then save this to the desktop. Let's see, what would be a good name for this one? Maybe like Janky Elevation. It's the Northeast Elevation, I think that's right and click on desktop and then export that drawing um, as well. Now I've exported three um, elevations of this model for the part that we're gonna work on next. So if you wanna keep going with that, you can. Um, we're actually gonna work on a project file where all of the elevations have already been imported for us, but now's a good time if you want to kind of click through some of the other elevations and practice just getting your views aligned and getting things to fit in the model before you export your drawings.